How's it going everybody? I hope you're having the most wonderful day. Yep, sitting in the old hot rod today because there's more news concerning the 6th and 7th generation Camaros and specifically talking about the Z28. Now, let me start first by saying if you haven't watched my last video on this, I'll go ahead and put it up there so you can watch it. And in that video, I discussed a, a rumor that was going around that had been posted on one website and one website only. And that story was about the cancellation of the 7th generation Camaro. In that, it quoted that they had numerous sources from GM saying that there would be no Camaro after 2023. Well, a couple days, I mean, it set the world on fire. I mean, it was everywhere. And GM and Chevrolet responded a couple days later saying that they will not respond to specifics, but that it was only delayed, not canceled. And I made a statement in the video that, number one, they're not going to get rid of their own one and only muscle car that started it for them, or pony car, however you want to look at the Camaro. <clears throat> And number two, they still had the Z28 to do. They do one each generation. Well, lo and behold, here it is a couple days after I made that video. And now the same website, and I'll put the, the, no, I'm not going to give you the link. I mean, you can look it up yourself. I will put the screenshot of the article and you can go check out the full story if you choose to. Some people are trying to discredit the, the website for the info because they seem to be the only ones that have it. Am I going to give it credence? Well, some things do add up. And I've stated it in other videos like, you know, will, they, will there even be a next generation Camaro? If so, will that Camaro be all electric? Because Al Oppenheiser, the chief engineer, designer, slash front man of the Camaro was moved over to the electric side of the division and it they didn't move him per se it was a lateral move for him as he stated in several interviews so it's not like a demotion or you've got to take this job or find another job you know it's nothing like that it was a lateral move to try to help GM get their all-electric cars going because the by 2021 they had released saying that they wanted 19 models of their lineup to be all electric will they make it i kind of doubt it i figured it'd probably 2023 2024 which is where all these dates seem to intermingle and fit now i'm gonna be post i'm gonna be dropping a few screenshots of websites where i got my stories and everything in the video so if you see it pop up while i'm yapping you'll know where it come from and i hope the ac vents not interfering with the audio if it is i apologize but here we go let me put on these things hello first up a news article and you've all seen this one before it is about the Cadillac CTSV and ATSV, right? Being canceled. It says production to end before spring is a V series as the V series expands, but it also says that will the C the CTSV and ATSV will cease this winter. General Motors has announced, and this was uh, early 2019. So by this winter, they're supposed to cease, which another report has already said they have. So that's number one. Next up, and I got this from a fellow YouTuber who contacted me telling me about, he lives over in the UK. And he was telling me about all the restrictions and stuff they have on cars especially uh, smog emissions and all that stuff you know and i was like you know i haven't really given that much thought do you ever see sales and whatnot so i got to looking into it and when i got to looking into that by him telling me uk sales of chevrolet corvette and camaro to end in august and that is off auto car website that was just one of the main ones that popped up in my search 
And it says in quotes that new emissions legislation coming into force will mean Chevrolet's Corvette and Camaro can no longer be sold as new in the UK. UK bound variants of these two models are powered by Chevrolet's 6.2 liter which falls foul of near newly imposed WLTP which I'm assuming that's their emissions stuff so you can check that story out if you care to auto car so that's strike number two strike number three is of course the the last story that this particular website put out and it stated that 2023 will be the last year for the command add that in with the Al Oppenheiser moving add that in with poor sales I mean GM sat there and had a winner with the 5th gen which is what I'm sitting in mine happens to be a 2012 two years newer than the original which was really released in 2009 as a 2010 model but with all that said who's going to split hairs you know it's a beautiful concept it's a beautiful car overall everybody loves the design because it harkens back to the first generation Camaro you can see cues from all three of the first gener generation Camaros in here from the 67 all the way to the 69 you know the sides with the square ears uh, squared off front and back is reminiscent of the 69 then you have the quad tail lights which is actually reminiscent of the second generation Camaro so you know you add all this stuff together and it just doesn't add up to be too good for the Camaro now I'm not blowing the whistle saying old oh, Camaro's dying the Camaro's dying I'm not waving that banner by no means because I don't want it to die I, I love the car I love the brand but once they started fiddling with the fifth generation Camaro sales immediately started going down the second they changed the tail lights on this car sales started going down nobody wanted it so that story is from auto car like I said and now I bring you to the latest one that I found this morning about 4 o'clock in the morning when I could not sleep. And it has since moved over to GM Authority. I didn't find it on GM Authority. I found it on the original rumor website. Which again, I'll put the screenshot of that one in here as well. But this is from GM Authority. This is a trusted website as far as Camaro News or GM News in general. And I'm going to scroll down. And here's the headline. There will be no 6th gen Chevrolet Camaro Z28. Right there it is for you. And I'll read just a little bit of a story and you, you know you can pull it up if you like if you care to. A few years ago a set of spy shots of a 6th generation Chevrolet Camaro set enthusiasts ablaze about the potential return of the track focused Z28. And if you don't know go to Lethal Garages um, YouTube page he actually has a uh, video that he did about that and talks about what his thoughts on it that there will be one he includes some shots and and some pretty good valid very valid points as it turned out those spy shots so to showed the sixth generation Camaro ZL1 with one LE extreme track performance package and while some tried while some held out for the 6th gen Camaro Z28, the waiting game is over. As we have exclusive information suggesting, it's not confirmed, suggesting the 6th gen Camaro Z28 will never take place. I had to find the last word. There's an ad in there. Now there's pop-ups are. In the not too distant past, Camaro Chief Engineer Al Oppenheiser went on record to say that Camaro team is still is still looking for any available horsepower that will fit in the car meaning that the beastly ZL1 1LE is far from a performance cap for the nameplate what's more is that it's the spy shots of performance variant Camaro prototypes but according to our sources the Camaro Z28 was cancelled shortly after being started in fact it never moved past very initial stages which involved vehicle planning and just a smidge of initial engineering work now that's quoting GM authority and there's more pictures there's more to the story and all of that stuff but I just wanted to get this out there for you because like I said I love the brand I love the car you know the Camaro was built back in 67 actually it was built in 66 
to be a direct uh, opponent, challenger, whatever you want to call it, to go up against the Mustang. The first generation, it never really passed the sales numbers or anything for, for the Mustang. I mean, let's face it, Ford and Mustang has a heritage because Henry Ford invented or came out with the first consumer grade automobile. One that was readily available and one that was re easily priced for the average Joe to have. So they have that heritage and history that no one can touch. And then the, the late Lee I. Coke, if you haven't heard, he's since passed away. I posted that last night or this morning, however you want to look at it. He's now gone. And one of the greatest things Lee I. Coke will ever be known for is bringing forth the Mustang, the first pony car. Well, not really first pony car, but the pony car for Ford, which is the Mustang. We've had them, I've had them, my wife's had them, and they are very, very nice, fun, capable cars. They are. It's just that over time, the Camaro has suited me better as the body styles for the Mustang has went too far from the original source for me to really get behind and stand with. They're still great cars, they're still beautiful cars, and they respond to modding like no other car I've ever seen. Now, that said, the Camaro just suits me better, the looks of it, the styling cues of it, all that great stuff. But, it's not looking good, guys and gals. I'm sorry. Like I said in my first video about the death of the Camaro, and I'll, I'll I don't think it'll let me link it up here because I have all these videos in the same playlist. But I'll either put the whole playlist or one individual video up there and you can go look at the other ones. But as I said in them, when Al first got moved, I was like, man, this isn't looking good. And then I talked about in depth, you know, whether it could be a good thing or a bad thing. It was kind of on the fence because GM and Chevrolet are not responding and not saying definite one way or the other way. So. What do you take from that? I mean, post in the comments below, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's really the end? Do you think that that everything is just as far as it can go? Now, when I bought this Camaro, I was actually looking at getting a Challenger. I mean, I, I'm all because of one movie, <laughs> Vanishing Point. If you've never seen that movie, you need to watch it. There's two versions. There's an old version and there's a new version. Doesn't matter which one you want, but at the center of that movie is a Hemi-powered Challenger RT. And it's just a beautiful car. And when Dodge, Chrysler, however you want to call it, SRT team, redesigned that car for the modern era, they nailed it. And it's, they've done very few changes ever since, except for making the Hellcat and the Demon, you know, which is based off of the Challenger platform. A beautiful car. Beautiful, beautiful. And ever since it was released, I wanted one. But then they came out in 2010 with the Camaro, and I was like, man, if I ever have the opportunity, I'm going to buy that car. And here I sit in one. It's beautiful. It's got 28,223 miles on it. It's like the day it rolled off the showroom floor. There's nothing wrong with it. I've done a few mods to it to make it fit me better, you know, my personality, my style. I still got more I'm going to do to it, but... I knew when I bought this car that I was kind of in a hard spot because the Challenger, the Camaro, the Mustang. Well, I knew the Mustang probably would never go anywhere, although they were going down that road like I alluded to just a second ago about me not liking the body styles, too European, which is the same thing that happened to the Camaro that when they went from the fifth to the sixth generation, it started getting too European, and that's when sales went down. It sat there and told Chevrolet, we do not like the European look. And then now Mary Barr that's in charge, the CEO over there, she wants autonomous vehicles, autonomous vehicles, autonomous vehicles, which I can understand the need. I can. You, you know, the cities and the urban, uh, the urban parts of the, the country right now that we're in, you know, that we have, it just can't, it just can't handle the cars it has. So the cars need to be downsized. The, you know, the gas prices and fossil fuels and all that. Whether you believe it or you don't, the people that are in charge, the government, uh, which is mandating all these changes for the manufacturers, and the manufacturers now are, are spending billions, not millions with an M, billions 
of dollars to come up with these new autonomous electric and hybrid vehicles I, you know one thing after another after another you can read the writing on the wall something has to give somewhere somewhere and everything old is new again you had the, the heyday of the muscle cars back in the 60s early 70s then the gas embargoes wink wink nod nod insurance gas companies working together hello here's your pile of money behind your back well here's your here's your legal paper saying that we have to do this and uh, here we are again everybody's preaching about gas prices and fossil fuels and uh, global warming and now they've changed it to climate change climate change is daily whether I believe it or whether I don't is a whole different story, a whole different video. But you add all these things together and we're right back to the 70s again. They're going to start choking down the muscle cars, the performance cars, and only the upper tier level of the community that can afford it are going to have it. It's beginning to really look that way. I hope not. I really do. GM and Chevy, please tell me this ain't the end of it. But Mustang is coming out with their uh, electric Mustang, so either the next Camaro, the next generation, which they have said is only delayed, is going to be a hybrid slash electric or all electric. I still say that is a strong possibility. I really do. I still stand by that. I said it in all my videos about the death of the Camaro. Will I be proven wrong? Time will tell. If it happens, that they don't do it hopefully i'll still be here to tell you i was wrong and i will i will tell you i was wrong but i still think we're going electric or at least the very minimum hybrid but first they got to get those 19 lines that mary wants and then i can see al working on one of the camaros will it be for me i highly doubt it i don't see either one of my two going anywhere because i have a 93 z28 for those that don't know and i have a 2012 ss so I've got one of each of the best, in my opinion, and all I can do is hang on to them. What are your thoughts again? I uh, appreciate you sticking around. Post your thoughts down in the below, and I'll do my best to respond to each and every one of them. And as always, it might take me a day or two, because I've got a lot of changes going on right now, just like a, I've got a new career path I'm taking. So, let's, let's go through this together. What do you think? But until next time, I look forward to reading your comments. You get out there and enjoy your car because I'm enjoying mine just sitting here talking to you. I really am. Babbling about my thoughts, babbling about what's going on out there. And yeah, let's see what happens with it. Hopefully it's good. Until next time, take care and thank you so very much for stopping by.